Soldiers of Reddit. What was something that was so funny even the drill sergeant couldn't help but giggle? You have about 30 seconds to unfuck yourself starting 28 seconds ago. I don't know if that was an old saying amongst all of them, or he made it up on the spot, but goddamn did I almost fucking lose it. From a friend at Air Assault, they were fast roping down off towers, and there was one guy that was deathly afraid of heights, but was still making his way to pass, and he was just standing there, and the instructor yells something along the lines of stop being a pussy and go, he proceeds to jump into the rope, lose his grip and fall the entire way down while screaming air assault until he hit the ground. He broke his arm, and had to go with the next class. Well one time when I was in basic training, my petty officer was going around asking questions to people. If you got it wrong, everyone had to do push-ups. If you got it right, he just moved on to the next person. I was in panic mode because all the questions before now had been really difficult, or maybe I was just stupid. In retrospect, I'm inclined to believe the latter. Anyway, my turn came up and the interaction went as follows. Petty officer, dandy LOU, what is the Navy's birthday? Me, ecstatic because this is one of the few bits of trivia my brain had decided to retain, relieved, SIR, October 13th, SIR. Petty officer, what year? Me, without missing a beat, every year, SIR. The room was quiet for a moment as the horror sank in. Everyone laughed at me. The petty officer laughed at me. Not a mocking laughter, but a sincere, oh my god I can't believe you're this stupid kind of laughter. I wanted to die. I had to do a lot of push-ups. Edit, guys, this isn't verbatim. This was over a decade ago, I didn't stay in basic training longer than four weeks. I got sent home for a medical issue, I retained like nothing from the military so I'm not denying the verbiage is probably wrong. I get it. Navy Boot Camp 2008, we had a big Samoan guy in our division who loved singing Disney songs. This dude started singing a whole new world in a shower with 80 other dudes, and all of us started singing along. I can remember our RDC just shaking his head and grinning. A master corporal was calling drill for us once and his voice cracked on the command. So he went from yelling in his normal kind of deep voice, he was a big dude, to a loud shrill dude impersonating a woman kind of voice. Everyone took a second but the other instructors for our platoon cracked and everyone just kind of laughed. Not exactly a drill sergeant, but during basic training we were marching in formation when we suddenly hear a thump. Turns out one of our comrades dropped his helmet. Of course our instructor saw this and responds with EIN Deutscher Helm Fault Nur Einmal. A German helmet is only dropped once, pretty common military textbook phrase. He commands the soldier to pick up his helmet, and we carry on marching. About 30 seconds later we hear the same sound again. So I turn around and ask myself how you can possibly fail the simple task of helmet retention, you basically just clip it to your carry rig, while already waiting to hear the instructor saying the same phrase again. What do I see? Our instructor turning around, doing his personal walk of shame and picking up his helmet. Let's just say we weren't short on beer when we celebrated the end of basic. Dude was told he couldn't trim his unibrow, if he did he'd have to shave both eyebrows as well. So that's what dude did, shaved it all. DS lost it laughing, and then made the private report every morning to have them sharp it on with a new expression every day. Added, the best ones were when he was given two squares as eyebrows, or a constant surprised look. And thanks for my first gold. I shall name him Philip. There were quite a few Puerto Ricans in my basic training platoon, and some of them struggled with English. We didn't mind helping them along, and of course, we took every opportunity to teach them the bad words first. One day, at lunch chow, we taught one young fellow the word queef and what it meant. We weren't supposed to be talking at chow time, of course, so the drill sergeant honed in and made the young fellow stand up and tell him what they were talking about. He stood at parade rest and said, loud and proud, what he was taught. You could see that the drill sergeant wanted to yell at him for talking, but couldn't keep his composure, and the two got away with it this time. 